I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Then Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. 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 Who shall I fear? Who shall I fear? Who shall I Of my life, who shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 23 verse 4 says, Yeah. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Then as it reads, I says, For thou art with me. When you have your daddy leading the way, when you have your daddy protecting you, he will not let any harm come near you. But if you don't trust your father, that's when the devil comes and gets control because of your unbelief. But I believe every each time when I step up the house or when I'm in the house, I believe that God is with me. Whatever I am, whatever I'm doing, that God is next to me. So I want you to know that the Lord is the strength of your life. You don't have to be afraid. And if you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you need not be afraid. And Psalm 56, chapter, verse 11 says, In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what men can do unto me. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 13 said, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. There is a fear God will not tolerate. Fear of taking a stand for him before the world. And he places it at the top of the list of causes for being lost. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 says, The fearful and unbelieving, unbelieving murderers and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. The fearful and unbelieving. So fear is an agent of torment. And it should not be a part of any Christian or a part of our Christian life. Matthew chapter 10 verse 33 says, Whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. And Malachi chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Then they that feared the Lord spoke often one to another 
and the Lord heard and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. For them that feared the Lord, and that thought upon his name, and they shall be mine, said the Lord of hosts. In that day when I make my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that serveth him. Be thou in the fear of the Lord all the days of your life. You see, fear is something we must get rid of. Fear could make people commit murder. Why? Because the assumption is, before they expose me, let me get rid of them. Fear can make people do certain things, do irrational things. But if you are looking unto Christ, then you will live. If you look to Christ, then you will live. But if you take your eyes off Christ, death is waiting for you. Because if you remember what happened when, when Jesus was walking, Peter said, Lord, if that is you, call me to come. Jesus said, come. And Peter started walking with his eyes on Jesus. But when he looked down and saw that he was walking on water, he started to sink. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And there will be no room for fear. Keep your thoughts on Jesus. There will be no reason to be afraid. Because you know that he is who he said he is. And God is the I am that I am. His word will never return void. Fear is not a part of you. And with that in mind, I say to you, pick up that phone and give me a call. 718-230-0777. And may God continue to bless you and until the next time we meet, be a blessing to someone. Christ is the son of Jehovah. He's the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah.